Alright, what's going on YouTube and ARK Survivors? Today on SharkNet3000 we're going to talk about the sponsored mods that ARK has uh, released as far as uh, more information on what they're going to do with sponsored mods. They did say on their website that it, they are going to be releasing the sponsored mods with the official release on PC and also console which is incredibly exciting because there is quite a few of these sponsored mods that uh, I'm dying to get my hands on as far as the Xbox One is concerned. And uh, let's just take a run through them and uh, see what we got. Uh, starting off, we got the Ark Moon Survival, uh, which is a total conversion mod. And just looking at it, it's pretty impressive. I mean, the graphics are amazing. Whoever did the work on this, uh, hats off to them. They really did a good job on this. It's looking pretty, pretty extensive. Uh, I don't know necessarily that it would be something that I'll get into, uh, but it definitely does uh, fill a void uh, in the whole Ark Survival um, atmosphere. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to take a look at the one of the ones that I, I am incredibly excited and cannot wait to get my hands on is the building the castles, towns, and bridges. Um, just looking at some of these photographs, it's just freaking beautiful. I mean, over 50 new uh, building parts uh, with multiple configurations. I mean, looking at the inside of this, uh, this castle that they designed, completely what Imperial City is all about. Um, I can't wait to implement this uh, mod on our uh, Imperial City uh, RPG server. Uh, it does look quite amazing, and the possibilities, it looks like, is endless. I mean, the picture of the castle here just looks just incredible. I mean, I, I really cannot wait to get my hands on this. Um, the interior packages, I mean, all of that just looks really awesome. Then, uh, moving on down to Echo's decorative and RP mods, which, here again, is going to completely... Uh, be adaptive to what we got here at Imperial City. I mean, it's 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 really awesome. I, it will totally totally enhance the uh, experience in Imperial City. These guys did really put some work in on these mods. Uh, moving right along, we got the uh, steampunk mod with the statues and the uh, amazing looking uh, textures here, as far as the uh, building walls and foundations. Uh, and it's my understanding that uh, these all have moving parts on them too, which I can only imagine how, how awesome that'll be to get, get your hands on and what kind of feels and atmospheres you'll be able to design with these. So uh, I'm really looking forward to steampunk mods as well. Um, next up, we're looking at the offline protection and also the mail system, which I think the mail system is really an awesome idea. I think it's just really gives the functionality of an RP server um, what it needs. Um, not to mention the offline protection, which uh, as many of our own citizens know, offline protection is vital to success. Uh, because you know everybody always waits till you get offline to attack. With this, it looks like it's pretty much impossible to do anything. Uh, looks like it puts your whole base in a bubble. Um, really awesome. I'm more excited more so about the mail system because, I mean, everybody having their own physical address really kind of, really kind of makes you feel like your base is a home, you know, and, uh, that's what all Imperial City is all about. It's, it's all about the RP and the, uh, the, you know, the experience. Uh, next up is another one that I, I did not know about, but I love the industrial grime feel of it is uh, Mr. Rad Tools uh, Ink Content Pack. Uh, it looks like you got steel structures, which anybody who knows me knows it fits right up my alley um, from being an industrial painter for years. Um, I've spent many time, many many days and months in power plants. So this is really kind of an interesting uh, content pack. Um, then moving along, we got the, uh, what do we have here? The Thieves Island and the Skies of Natska. Um, I don't really know what these are about, but I do like the looks of them. Um, the archways, all that, the detail, pretty amazing. 
like I said, I, I'm not really sure what this entails, uh, but I'm sure it's something really awesome. Uh, and then you have Madagas Madagascar Evolved. Now, obviously, this is an African-based themed. Um, the, the settings look really amazing. I mean, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful maps. Um, I can't wait to actually just try those out to see how they are. Also, Shigo Island. Uh, I like the archways and the columns that they got in this. Um, here again, I'm not sure, you know, exactly what it entails, but just from what I can tell on these pictures, uh, it really looks amazing. The, uh, textures is just beautiful. The, the large mushrooms is, is totally dope. Um, can't wait to see what that is. Uh, Survival Plus, uh, I'm guessing it's kind of like Primitive Plus. I, I can't really tell. I see the, the axe and the, uh, the lumberyard and that. And I see the uh, kind of fort spikes around. Uh, I'm sure it has some building supplies, whatnot. I'm not really sure what it's about, but it does look interesting nonetheless. And these are all uh, sponsored mods that have been approved by a Wildcard. So these are ones that I, I believe are already locked in as far as coming out in the sponsored mods program. Uh, next we have Rorema. Uh, which looks like it's more of a ruins based type atmosphere uh, here again beautiful textures beautiful scenery um, not really 100% positive what it's all about but uh, it does look amazing uh, and then next up we have the uh, structures and platforms plus mod now this is one that I have heard frequently talked about um, uh, you, here you see the tree platform uh, mod uh, which really is is pretty sharp. I mean, that's and it takes a lot of work out of uh, building a tree platform right off the bat. Um, then next you have uh, these various columns, which I think is the one thing that Ark has been missing is a lot of customization and personalization of your own base. I mean, when you only have like four sets of different structures to build with, you can't really get a, a, a feel for somebody's personality based on their design. If everybody's using the same stuff. So uh, here again, I can't wait to see the structures and platforms plus mods. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is also the mod that lets you put more than the, uh, the uh, limited number of structures on a boat. Uh, I'm not 100%. If you, know, if you know for sure, well, put down in the comments what you do know about these mods. Because I would like to find out more about these so I can, I can actually give better, better intel on them. Uh, then moving right along, it looks like we have the Ragnarok uh, mod. Here again, I'm not 100% on what this is about. But, from what I see, it looks pretty damn interesting. I mean, anytime you got a, what looks to be a T-Rex tied up in a freaking web, I mean, yeah, you, you've got my curiosity aroused. Uh, moving on right along, we have the, which well, here's one that I think is, is really vital, is the NPC tribes. Uh, I think that's a great addition to ARC. Uh, the lack of interactions with uh, NPC characters on here, I think, is really something that's been missing. This is going to be definitely a good addition to uh, ARC, and uh, really interested in seeing how it works. Um, now, one more here, the ACM, the Advanced Command Menu System. I think this is an incredible mod. I, I'm so glad to see somebody actually added this. Um, there's just so many so many things that is missing in the functionality of the menu system that this is just really, I mean, the perfect mod. Um, it looks pretty in-depth. I mean, especially for admins, I see it's got the god mode, infinite stats, all that, where you can just check them instead of typing in a command. Uh, imports. You can import stuff easy as hell. Uh, and for all you admins out there, you, you know damn good and well that this is going to eliminate the whole copy and paste uh, from the, uh, the Xbox uh, Glass uh, from the uh, app. Um, I can't wait to use this. This really looks awesome. Uh, I also see where it says we got permissions management on there. Um, that's, that's awesome too. I mean, 
the admin chat. I mean, that's that's great way for admins to, to converse back and forth without having to put it out in the public chat. Um, I think it's a great idea. Uh, all these mods, I mean, just look amazing. Hats off to all the uh, mod developers out there. Um, you guys, if, I tell you, if it wasn't for you, I don't know what Wildcard would do without you. Um, and I know as an end player and a dedicated server host, I can really appreciate the fact that they're coming to console. So uh, hats off to the mod developers. Hats off to Wildcard. Uh, I think everyone's doing a phenomenal job on this. I can't wait to see the actual game drop and uh, the sponsored mods pack come out. Um, I'm just really excited about it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about these sponsored mods. Uh, what your opinions are, if you got any information on uh, any other mods that you know are coming out in the sponsored mods pack. Please make sure to comment it below um, so we can get it out there. Uh, until then... If you want to join Imperial City, by all means, add the gamer tag. Now, this is on Xbox One. Add the gamer tag Sharknet3000. That's S H A R K N E T space 3000. And uh, we'll get you in Imperial City and you can start enjoying uh, what we got going on today. Until then, this is Lord Supreme Emperor Imperial Shark. And I am out of here. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the help, guys, because to be honest with you, you guys are what we're doing this entire server for to begin with. Um, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. So until then, this is your man, Lord Imperial Shark. I'll see you next time.